What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is a free indie kind of horror game. It's a point and click. It's a really good game for free. And actually, I actually paid three dollars for this game because I wanted the book it came with. It came with a book, soundtrack, and a couple of wallpapers. So I went ahead and just supported the developer and purchased the game. But I'm gonna leave the free link in the description below to see if y'all want it. And if anybody is stuck in this game right here, because I know when I first started playing this game. I was stuck in the very beginning because I didn't know what to do. I'm going to do a let's play this game. This game ranges from 10 to 12 minutes long, so it's a very short game. Let's jump into this right now to start a brand new game. And the wicked shall hold their tongues. They stir <clears throat> beneath this silent world of saints and sinners, twixt the living and the dead. <laughs> the train's still going. I can't have slept long. We left. Uh, we left. When did we leave? Where did we leave? God damn. It's unnervingly quiet. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe I should fetch some water. The restaurant should be open now. <coughs> Go on, fetch me some water. What do we have here then? Wallet. Yes. Dr. Lang, curator of the Krennic on Thames Museum. That's me, all right. Let's go stir up a drink or two. Maybe something strong is in order. Clear the head. Okay, I'm Dr. Harold Lang. My destination is Auger Peak Island. I'm on this train to... <coughs> I'm, I'm going to evaluate some finds. They called me to... To do, bro. Locked? Isn't this the way out? Let's go this way. Good evening, my friend. I was wondering if you could... Ah, yes. I've seen you poking around. Having trouble settling down, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Could do with a stiff drink about now? Right you are, then. The door to the next carriage appears to be locked. Is that normal? Nothing's wrong, is it? <laughs> you city folk always jump to conclusions. Ain't nothing wrong, just how we do things when our guests are asleep. Prevents prying eyes and swift fingers. Isn't that a bit of a fire hazard? Pal, let me tell you. If a fire breaks out on this train, then no amount of carriage doors are going to save you from roasting. If you catch my drift. Be a steel coffin if the unthinkable happened. Um, could you possibly unlock the door? I could really use a drink. Don't reckon I can, no. <laughs> I can give you the key, though. On one condition. Oh, please don't tell me he's going to ask me to solve some ridiculous conundrum of his. Bring me back a shot of whiskey when you get back. Old Floyd will look you up. Just tell him it's for Don. Phew. No problem, my friend. Thank you. Huh, okay. We gotta do this backwards style. <clears throat> okay, I was stuck at this point for 10 to 12 minutes when I barely realized you have to score your mouse all the way up here and you can get a key. The one he gave you. Aha! Uh -huh. Does some knocks okay. the door. A solemn, a solemn looking young woman. She's seated on a chair. Her eyes are staring off at something just outside the picture's edge. 
It's a little unnerving. I feel like... I feel like I've seen a photograph like this before. If this wasn't up in a train carriage... Locked. Bring me back a shot of whiskey when you get back. What? Okay, the door's locked from the other side, can't get in. Oh, I forgot to use my key. I am so sorry. No good. I can't even get the key in. Must be now locked from the other side. There. Wasted about 30 of y'all seconds right there. The restaurant is locked. This key's no good. Ah, Floyd must be getting things ready. Just take your time, boy. Let him do his thing. He'll unlock it when he's good and ready. There's no rush, is there? Locked. Hello there. I'm sorry for the intrusion. I was just what? He's muttering something. I can't make it out. I'm sorry? What was that? Maybe I should be going. I'm sorry to have bothered you. He doesn't seem to be able to open his mouth properly. I think I'd better leave. Maybe I should mention this to that ticket inspector. There's a man in one of the rooms in the next carriage. I don't think he's at all well. <laughs> we get some right crazies on the train, I'm telling you. You learn to leave them be after a while. Uh, the, the wretched man can barely speak. Aye, and I'd be the same way after the amount of booze most of these lads have had. Is Floyd still not operating then? Not as far as I'm aware. Ah, well. Give the boy time. Hey. I saw one of your fellow passengers pop their head out the room at the end of the corridor. Maybe you get a better conversation out of her. Pretty little thing. Thanks. Um, are you sure that she was... Okay. We're heading to room 1C now. Well, this was the... As a child, I used to make origami like this. Where's the girl that ticket collector claims to have seen? I'm... Mm, I'm sure she won't miss just one. Could she be... <laughs> Nothing. But that sounded awfully like a door unlocking in the next carriage. Is Floyd ready for business? Good evening. Floyd, is it? Ah, Mr. Lang. How nice of you.
flasks empty, Floyd. Better give me a shot of whiskey. No more freebies, I'm afraid, Mr. Lang. That'll be five pounds. Five pounds? You're burying me alive here. Not really. I don't... Ah, a bit of money. Just what the doctor you right, ordered. You have to right click on the wallet. Here you go, my good man. Better hit me with another. The excess is the path to ruin, <coughs> Mr. Lang. We wouldn't want you to go before your time, would we? I think I can manage just one more drink. That's what they all say, isn't it, Mr. Lang? Just one more for the road. I can handle it. Never had difficulty driving before. And what about your liver, Mr. Lang? Can that handle just one more drink? God damn, Floyd. You always were a preachy son of a bitch, weren't you? I think you're quite mistaken, Mr. Lang. We've never met, you and I. I just don't want you to do yourself an injury. I can handle one more goddamn drink, you stupid bitch. Just stay out of my way and I'll stay out of yours. That's right, Mr. Lang. Let it all out. There's a good little puppy. What the hell? What did... <sighs> Shit. I need to go, Floyd. It's been a pleasure, as always. Aren't you forgetting your promise, Mr. I can't think. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lang, that pale man you met. I think he just wants a best friend. Perhaps you're not quite what he's looking for. You are, after all, blind drunk. Give this guy a dog. Worth a try, I suppose. Hey, sir, this isn't quite man's best friend, but... <laughs> that seems to have done the trick. I think he wants me to open it. There's an engraving here. He whose blood the Earth's dark thirst doth quench ascends into the heavens from her womb. Interesting. It's firmly attached, but hey, I think I can move it. Lock. 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 Ah, it's open. Oh! The box is filled with earth and worms. They're everywhere. Why would he lock something like this away?
Well, well. You really came through for an old man, boy -o. Talk about dramatizing it. You can't be any older than 35. Glad to make the night pass by just that little bit easier. That reminds me, I never did find that girl in this carriage. Girl? What are you talking about, pal? There's no girl on this train. But you said... No. It's not nice to go messing with old Don's head just because he's had a sniff of whiskey. But you know, I like you, Lang. You got spirit. Well, thanks. But that girl, you honestly told me you saw her. Reckon I didn't. And you know what? It's the craziest damn thing. You're just about the only soul I've seen on this train tonight. Not normally like that. Even Floyd's usually around. Must be his night off. Floyd is around. I got the whiskey from him, remember? And what about the sick passenger in the next car? No seen him there around, son. You know what I need on a night like this? A good book. <coughs> a friendly looking fu- A good book. Hope Don likes it as much. Well, why not? More photos of that girl from the picture in the corridor. She's sitting in different seats around her house. What is it about these pictures? My God! They're Victorian death pictures! I thought as much. I can't take this. What the hell is this place? Am I even awake? <coughs> I... I don't want to. I don't want to see. Oh, God, get me out of this place. What have I done? Destroyed. All destroyed. I can't even smell the booze. It's like this happened years ago. What the hell could have done this? Destroyed. This can't be here for no reason. There's a thin crack around the base of the train, as if it opens. I can't get my nails in the gap. Okay, now I'm stuck in this part for maybe three minutes. What you have to do is get your credit card, I mean your ID card, combine it with the train, and you get a that, key. It came apart. There's some kind of thin key inside.
then once you get that key, you want to head on over here. Back to where the ticket guy was. You want to open this. The panel is open. There's a switch marked shutters. The train's picking up speed. Then you want to go back to your room. Open the shutters. I'll just slide it open. No. No. Dear God, what is this? Earth. Nothing but earth pressed tight against the window. This can't have just happened. This can't be happening. I can't breathe. There's no air. This is my little walkthrough of this game. If you got stuck on any part of this game, I hope this helped you out. And I really did enjoy this. Like I said, the link's going to be in the description box below. It's a free game, but please help to support the indie developers. And just chunk down to $3 because you get a whole ebook, wallpapers, and the soundtrack to this game. I mean, I enjoyed it. The game was only 15, 20 minutes long, but it was a really good put together game. Like I said, I enjoyed this game. and hope y'all do too well buddy that's just a little walk through i'm gonna let this go ahead and clear out with the credits i'll see y'all when i see y'all peace